I'm stroking my beard like I'm an evil genius. Aha! Come get me! Ha ha! That is awesome! I'm super stoked like this actually works. What's going on guys? Shake here coming at you from the Mobile Gaming Command Center, aka my RV. And I wanted to kind of jump in and do another scrap mechanic video for you. Um, there was some things that I noticed with my um, spud guns that were not acting right. I wanted to uh, sort of fix those and make a video about it. So we're going to jump in here real quick. Um, if you did notice, I have tons of extra seeds. And this was my answer. Um, put them all on this outside wall here. And then when the mobs come and they attack, they destroy them. And I don't have to worry about finding a place to hide them. Um, and then I get more of the tote bot heads and just kind of replace them and put all the extra seeds and stuff on it. Um, and it seems to be working pretty good. I keep three stacks of every other seed that I have in the chest. And as I get extras, I just put them out here and they get taken out. So if you notice, um, I have the spud guns and the sensors. And when you walk up, it shoots you once. And I wanted them to alternate and keep firing until whatever was in front of it is taken out. Um, and I did a little bit of digging around, and I was trying to do some experiments with some logic gates. And this is actually... Um, another YouTuber came up with this. I had, to, I had to search for like how to make an auto turret. And what I did was I kind of reverse engineered it. Uh, so I made this uh, turret from his design. Um, and I can kind of explain it, or I can, um, what I can do is I'll put a link to his video in my, uh, my description, uh, so he can kind of explain it a little bit in more detail. Uh, but basically, um, I didn't have these wired to a, um, ammo canister because I was testing it out and stuff. Uh, so basically what it does is it pans, and then when it sees you, it, it, um, activates the, uh, spud guns. And then um, it's hooked to a timer with an oscillating signal uh, and to these AND gates. Uh, so it's a little bit complicated, but like I said, I, I kind of made this and looked at all the separate components of how to work it. And what I came up with was that I didn't want the guns to rotate like this. I, I mean, this is a really good design, and I might put one here and one on the other corner. Um, but I wanted the guns to stay stationary like this to uh, fire straight out um, because if they go over this way the saws will get them um, so what I came up with was uh, here's the timer um, and you have an AND gate and a NOR gate and you can actually control the delay uh, 0 seconds and 4 ticks uh, if you put it on 0 it's going to flash like crazy so um, you can hide it no, otherwise it's just going to be really annoying and flashing like a lot. Um, so let's do this. I got some logic gates here and I kind of wanted to put them somewhere. You know, I like to hide stuff. You know, I don't like to have it out in the open and it looks kind of messy. Uh, plus, if you look at all of my wiring here, it's kind of a mess too anyway. Um, and I wish there was a way to kind of isolate each circuit so you could look at them individually. Um, hopefully they'll work on something like that uh, in the future. But um, for now, I wanted to get the my spud guns to fire automatically. Um, and what that requires is the... That will probably do like that. Nope requires an AND gate. Let me get this. Did I have that right? Yep, I did. So one, two, three. Oh. It's that one. Four, five, six, seven, nine. So now they'll all go to these, and then from these, they'll go to the timer. Uh, so what the AND gate does is it um, says, okay, well, I have two signals coming in, and for the uh, device to activate, 
you have to have this device and that device, um, which is sort of what I did with, with this um, logic gate here when I connected the engine and the controller for the pistons and the um, saw blades. But this is going to be um, the timer and the spud guns with the sensors. So I'm going to have to uh, plant tons and tons of potatoes and fill these up, plus have some in my inventory for the sides that I don't have cannons for or anything yet. So that'll be something that I'm going to be working on. So let's... This is going to go, that's three, four, five, six, oh, last one. So, those are going to go here. And then the sensors are going to go that one to the last one. I don't have a butt gun. We're going to put this one here. And this spud gun is going to go to the last one here, I believe. I can always do a second one of these. They're pretty easy to make. Maybe I'll put another one over here somewhere. All right, and we're back. I have all the materials, um, and I'm making the logic gates now and the timer for the second circuit. Grab that. Let's see if... Actually, I think I had one already from the test that I did down here. Let's double check this and make sure we can't upgrade it. Oh, it's just a timer. So, let's do this. Make this a uh, NOR gate. Timer here. And now you basically make a triangle to this one, this one to that one, that one to the timer. Change this to four ticks. That way it's not as flashy. And those should be up just fine. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five. Oh, not the light. Five. Six. 
See, now I can connect all nine to that. So what's the deal? That one I have to upgrade. I keep doing that. I keep running into that one. Cool. So, I guess that worked. Um, now I can work on hiding all this stuff. And like I said, I have to upgrade these for my elevator later. Um, and I do need to plant a crap load of potatoes. So, let's do that. I want to put these saws back. Um, like I said, I did sort of show you guys how this worked. Ah, I do have to turn it off, though. I think it's that one. And we'll box this back in just so that, um, aha, okay. I don't like having all the components out in the open and exposed. I like to hide stuff so that it's not visible. Um, and I just, I think it looks a lot neater too. Because, you know, you're not, so you're not seeing all that other junk that's there. Um, probably I'm out of metal. Okay. Got plenty of it, though. Because this... Oh! All right. What I've been kind of slowly doing is, as I collect the uh, um, scrap from the haybots, um, I've been filling up this here, and I stepped up my game a little bit. I got three more, and um, I think if you do this, each one of these is ten, and it holds, I think, is it 50? 25. I'm not sure exactly, but anyway, it's like 500 or so scrap metal, each one of these, if you drop it off. Um, so I'm going to fill these up. While I'm uh, planting potatoes to fill up my um, cannons. So we're plant some of these. And then what I'll do is I'll show you the, um, the defense mechanism. And we can test out the wall now. Hopefully it will work. Should get our unauthorized farming deal soon. And then we're going to hang out till midnight and fight off some more um, robots and stuff. And see how the um, auto spud thing works. We got 50... 59 in that one. And, I, and like I said, I think they're all coming out of this one. And uh, eventually when I fill these up, I'm going to split them up to two for each canister. Oh. That back on. And I gotta get some more spud guns too, so. Um, for the other sides also. Um, and I'm slowly replacing the concrete with the metal because like I said, I got metal coming out my ears now. Um, and when you farm this way, you know, you just kind of hang out and wait for them to show up and Grab all your stuff. And that's pretty much it. And when you plant all your crops, if you have too many seeds, I throw all the seeds out there and the robots destroy them for me. And I just kind of hang back and just collect scrap and I collect circuit boards. Look, this I'm working on this here, but I needed some circuit boards to make some stuff. Uh, and then I've been um, collecting water and bringing it back here to save me a trip every time I need to fill this thing up. Six trips that's saving me if I get them out of the way and put all the water here when I have extra downtime. So, um, as soon as I have some more scrap, I will wrap up this wall, um, 
get rid of this wood and I did extend the um, walkway out some so now I have a three wide block all the way around so my base is pretty much untouchable I think and it's gonna be even better once I have all of the whoop all of the sensors upgraded and all the um, and gates and logic gates and stuff hooked up um, where did I put my here we go to upgrade that sensor there we go I don't want to use all the potatoes Oh, that's a bunch of lag. Um, and the game just crashed. Okay, well, uh, let's try to load it back up. And I will try not to freak the game out so much. Oh, wow, I'm over here. Um, okay. <clears throat> That's max. That's at eight. And the cool thing about the sensors is once you upgrade them all the way, you can do uh, color mode. And that's what I did with this one. Because I didn't want it to activate at every one of these because that's what this one does. This one waters every time it senses a block. Or, I'm sorry, color mode is on and it is reading the white blocks because it's set to read the white color. So it ignores all these other ones, which are um, this piston re actually reaches, or this um, water cannon will reach from this piston. But because it only goes out so many blocks, um, I had to add a second one to catch this one and make another row. So let's... Got a couple more component kits left. Got one more. Eight. So, yeah. Now, it should fire from all the way back here. Oh, that's the wrong one. That one. There we go. So that is pretty cool. And once I upgrade the pistons, um, then those will come out twice as far, too. But, um, this is sort of my little brain here. My brain, op or the brain of the operation. There we go. Um, this controller controls the pistons. Um, and because they're only level one, they only got seven blocks. So I have them, excuse me, I have them going out seven blocks and then back to zero and out seven blocks and back to zero. And when you hit the button, then that's, that's my manual override. That'll activate them and it'll cycle through. And then once it hits the end, it, it'll stop. Um, which, that's why I had the loop on, and I think the loop is what's been messing with it. So, we'll turn that off. And, I see now, because the switch is doing exactly what the switch is doing with the water deal. Is, you hit it once, and then it waters and stops on this side. And then you hit it again to turn the switch off, and it goes back. So... Now that I have a better understanding of what's going on with that, I'll know later possibly how to fix it. Um, so that's the manual override. This is for the turret that's outside. I can turn that off, um, and it'll stop at its neck at its next uh, location in the um, controller, and it'll stop there, and it won't fire at me. But, when I turn it on, 
it cycles through and it sh should be on loop so that um, it'll do its thing. And I don't know how the frame rate will work uh, with all the extra moving parts and stuff. So hopefully it won't crash. And I had sort of an idea. I wanted to put these on pistons. Um, and when I pull a lever, they would pop up out uh, from like behind the saws sort of deal. But for right now, this will work, I think. Um, especially because, like I said, the frames are ridiculous sometimes. There's just a lot going on, and you can't really process everything, I think. This should give me... Uh, a full crop of potatoes should give me, I think, 165 potatoes. And then a random number of uh, seeds. I think it's like between one, one and three you get for each crop that you pick. Um, and like I said, I try to keep at least three stacks in this chest here. Of course, see, I took the three stacks of potatoes out. Um, and then if I have any extra after I put the 60 of them back, I stick them outside and the mobs take care of the rest. Ah, here we go. Bring it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Take out my crops for me. That is awesome. So the saw takes care of the um, tote bots. And the potato guns take care of the hay bots. Because the hitbox, I guess, is a little bit taller. That is awesome. And I also want to build like a better way to get in and out of here because I don't I don't like the idea of jumping on the saws. It's a little scary. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a catwalk thing or or some sort of um, button activated lift deal. Not it, it wouldn't be an elevator because I'm only going up like eight or nine blocks, but just some sort of like transportation thing to get me up and over the wall. I do like that how it um it's all streamlined it looks it looks nice and neat and there's nothing all over the place except for all the wires like this is ridiculous you know um i'm hoping there'd be a way to uh fix that a little bit i don't really know maybe this is what's causing all the lag all these wires everywhere and just too much stuff going on all at the same time. But the whole plan is to extend this wall all the way around the gas station and do the saws and spud guns um, completely around the base. That way I'll have, you know, an automated defense system with motion sensors and spud gun sensors and stuff. And the only other thing I would have left to do to figure out is how to collect all the scrap. Um, maybe like a, um, not a crab claw, but like, you know, some sort of thing with some sensors looking at the ground. And then it'll scan back and forth with um, one of these deals attached to it. And when it senses the scrap, it'll drop down and pick it all up off the ground maybe. Or even even if it's just manual, like I can sit in a little chair or something and have, you know, up, down, left, and right buttons, and then uh, another button to like drop it down and kind of do like a like a claw game or something with it. That'll be something kind of interesting to do. Get this. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. I think. Aha! Come get me. Yeah, take out my crops for me. Ha ha! That is awesome! Ha ha! 
That is awesome. So it's going to cycle. He's going to break through that and then either walk in front of a saw or walk in front of a spud gun. Check this out. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, let's get ready for the next wave. I think, oh, I only have three potatoes. Are these ready yet? Here, let's, let's borrow some. I know I'm trying to fill them up, but I need to have some just in case, I think. I'm super stoked like this actually works. And now I can defend my base with them. And it's completely, like, self-sufficient. I can wander away. Um, I don't think that it's completely, like, 100% foolproof yet. Um, just because I don't have anything on the sides. But it's, mo it's mainly just the front part. So, once I get all the materials and finish the left and the right side in that little corner in the back, uh, we'll see... You know, I, I won't attack him at all. We'll see what actually happens. So far, so good. Is there something out there, or is that... Oh. I wonder if I can reach him from here. Gah! Did I hit him? Ah, there we go. Come get me. Do something. Oh, you're scared, huh? Oh, look at that. Boom. Aha. <laughs> Free circuit board, and can I reach it from here? Aha. Didn't even have to leave the base. For now, like I said, this is working pretty decent. Like, I don't even have to do anything. They just show up and die. <laughs> but it's only the one side, though. I haven't done the other two sides yet, so I'm going to work on that. That looks pretty scary. <laughs> I got my car on the roof with the um, drills and stuff. Maybe I'll put drills on the pistons too. That might be pretty pretty menacing. All right, are we ready? We got 20 seconds. Let's see what uh, the wall does this time. This is my second or my third round of potatoes, so the wave should be getting a little bit bigger. All right, here we go. I'll try to only pick off the ones on the sides. Aha! On this way. That's amazing. Is there another one somewhere? I hear him, but I can't see him. Oh, it's this back corner. Let's pop these in here real quick. That one's full. Move to the next one. That's everything, and he was kind of just sitting. Whoop. Ah! I can't even get up there. The wall works too well. Ah, there we go. This is a good view. I think I'll do this. I'll make a crow's nest right in the middle so I can pick them off from the wall at this way. This is an excellent angle. 
Except for this pole. This pole's in the way, but that's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. I can see everything up here. Now all I'd have to do is just build a tower. <laughs> and I can make the UI. Here, I'll wait until midnight. And I have plenty of potatoes, I think, and I'll just sit up here with the uh, UI gone. And shoot robots. And you'll get a good a good angle of the spotlights and the spud guns. Um, I'm going to eventually fix that one on the end there, because I think I messed it up when I accidentally took it apart. So I'll make it just like all the other ones, I think. Oh, the time's gone, too. Okay, so 23. One minute. All right. We'll hang out like this. And I'll try not to move, because if I move, I'll fall off. I'm stroking my beard like I'm an evil genius. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not going to cut the beard, are you? I hope not. Should be getting pretty close now. Ah, there we go. They're coming. Uh, we'll try this. See. Oh. Come on. Oh, well, it looks like the saws are going to take care of most of them. One over here. I don't know if I can reach him. That wasn't very uh, exciting. I thought it was going to be a little more eventful than that. Go through a lot? Not really. The saws took care of most of them. I think that'll about do it for this one. Um, I'll do another video once all the potatoes and stuff are done and all these are full and I'll kind of maybe reveal some more plans for other projects that I'm going to be working on uh, but for right now the wall seems to be pretty decent and nothing's getting through and I'm collecting resources and they're getting rid of all my extra seeds so yeah I mean as soon as this gets all full I'll be able to um, refine it and I'll finish off my wall, too. Um, I'm not sure if this will all be finished by next video, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and this timer circuit is awesome because it oscillates the signal. And then you go from that to an AND gate. And the AND gate goes to a, uh, a sensor. Spud gun goes to the AND gate so that when... This oscillates the signal, and the sensor goes off. It fires the spud gun and oscillates with this signal. So that's why when you come out here, it keeps firing. All right, so this is Mr. Shakezilla signing off, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.